Okay, so this activity is called Career Journey. And the point of it is to really think about where you're at at the moment and to look back at the different jobs, voluntary work, experiences that you've had leading up to this point, whether that's academic, non-academic, family, um, travel, time out of work for one reason or another. Um, these are all really valuable things and there's a lot that can be learned from them. So doing this activity is a way really of raising awareness around what you've done previously and how that's felt and what the common themes are that run across that stuff so that you can use that essentially as data to then analyse what you might focus on moving forward. Okay, so um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start by uh, drawing a, a circle. Um, and this represents today, where you're at at the moment, okay? Uh, so as I say, this is an interruption. So this is where we are now. And then a good way of doing this is to just work back. So if I then just draw a wave, okay, and this is your career journey going back over time, okay? And if we start from now and just start plotting um, different uh, roles or events that have happened professionally. So if I, if I do my own, then I'm just going to put here um, self-employment, okay? And then I can go... Um, lecture, and then lecture, and then PhD, and before this, uh, MA, and before this, um, project manager. For this um, volunteer coordinator um, teacher. Okay, so you've, what we've got here then is just uh, a series of, of different roles um, that you might have done at different points, um, and and then. And then you can start to sort of go, okay, well, uh, there was a period here. Uh, so I had about uh, six months of travel here. Um, and you might find there's a period here where you've raised a family, um, where you've taken time out to care for somebody else, where you've taken time out uh, due to not being very well. Um, whatever your... Um, whatever your journey looks like, whatever that is, wherever there's been sort of significant periods along along your kind of timeline. Okay, so you've plotted your roles, you've plotted anything else that's gone on, any voluntary work that you've done alongside things as well, just pop that on there. Um, anything where you've uh, perhaps been part of a sports team or part of a church or part of a mosque where you've um, been involved in some way, anything like that, anything that feels relevant as, a, as something that you've, you've, you've done, you've got involved in that might have had roles or responsibilities. Okay, and what I now want you to do is, um, is start to give a bit of detail here. So when I'm talking about self-employment, what am I talking about? So for me, um, there are three different elements to that. So the first element of that is, is workshop design, which is what I'm doing now. Okay. Um, another element is um, transition coaching. And another element of that is research consultancy.
And within the lecturer role, um, some of that was um, content design. Um, some of it was research. And within research, there was design. Um, collaboration. And um, I guess application of frameworks, theories, that sort of stuff. Uh, content design, there was uh, management of other staff, other lecturers. Um, so that would be... So what you can what you can see here is is you can start to build up some of the different things that you were doing in this space. OK. OK, so you can see that I've developed this a little bit. It's a bit like Blue Peter, isn't it? This is what I did earlier. Um, so I've just put a bit more detail in a few different areas. So, um, for example, what I'm doing now, um, I've looked at the different coaching that I do and there's academic transition coaching, there's career transition coaching, there's business startup coaching, leadership coaching and school improvement coaching. Um, so there are all different areas there. And then within the workshop design, I've identified that some of it's about design, some of it's about teaching building blocks. Um, I noticed that it enables travel um, and then as I've kind of just developed the detail around a few of these other ones. So the project management is about setting something up. It's about creating something. The coach is about developing others. Uh, volunteer coordinators about developing others. So I've started to just put a bit of detail around what some of these jobs enable. You can go a lot more into this. Um, you can really sort of, well, what was it? What were my responsibilities as a lecturer? What What is that? What does that look like? What were my responsibilities as a teacher? What were the different elements of that? Um, and then just listen to any noticings. So what felt really do you notice any times where it felt really good any times where it didn't feel good um any themes that you can see just treat this as it's data this is going to enable you to understand what you enjoy professionally and how you now looking back on this what it is that you notice so you will be a different person now to who you were when you started the doctorate. So the way that you think about this stuff will be different, but it provides an opportunity for you to, to raise your awareness. Now, what can be really helpful, there's a sheet that I've included um, as well. Um, and this is uh, just a few different things that you might notice as you're looking through. So are there any areas where you it's about collaboration is there a lot of collaboration in there and if so how do you feel about it is there something about developing others is that something that you enjoy if so just just make a note of it is there something going on about being persuasive about leading other people about using your own initiative about creativity so i can see for example in here there's a number of different areas so creation setting something up um design 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 so there's a number of, i know that creativity is something that i love i know it's something that i get a kick out of um so and the same with uh development of others so if we look here what relates to that there so developing others so developing others creativity, collaboration are three really important areas for me. Okay, so you can see collaboration pops up here as well. Um, this is all about the development of others. Okay, all of this is, is related to that. Um, this is about design, manage, but it's not management. It's the development of others. Again, it's really about that. Um, management development so you can see here that there's like a number of different areas so what i'd like you to do 
is first of all um, draw the timeline secondly uh, plot jobs uh, voluntary life events anything that feels significant like that then I want you to look at the roles responsibilities in a bit more detail so what was it that you did at that time what happened at that time okay and then when you've done that I want you to look at these attributes and I want you to think and consider what any what themes do you notice was there anything that felt were there a few areas where creativity was really important? Were there a few areas where developing others was really important, where collaboration was really important? And you can take, if you want, you can take, you know, a different colour and go, okay, so creation, setting something up, developing others, you know, design, collaboration. These are all areas that feel really important. And what I'd like you to do uh, as a result of that is I want you to identify some core attributes that feel really important to you personally. OK. That's your job. And um, yeah, good luck. <laughs>